Good afternoon, Lubna Olayan. Good afternoon, Baptiste. The Olayan Group is a wide conglomerate. Is it necessary for a big company like yours to diversify its activities in a world more and more um, indecipherable? Well, uh, the origin of our group had, had started from being uh, extremely diversified. So we started being diversified. We started as operators in 1947 in, in Saudi Arabia, and slowly we became an investor in the 60s in, uh, when, we went, when my father did his first investments in the US and then followed by the UK. So the nature of our business nowadays is operators as well as investors. And it does help us now in this uh, indecipherable environment. Uh, you, you have a lot of, of roles in uh, colleges like Cornell, Cornell University, Indiana University, Trinity College and uh, Harvard, of course. Uh, is education the key uh, for better understanding of our world? It, for me it is, and I think education now for the youth, for everyone, it is important. It wasn't as important during the generation of my father and so many of the people who didn't need it, but they have to work much harder. They, have, they need to compensate that knowledge by educating themselves. Education at university gives us that tool and so it sort of introduces us to the business world and straight into it. But life is a continuous education. As a successful businesswoman, what is your perception of the women role in Saudi Arabia? Is it improving? The if you're asking on the role of women in business in Saudi Arabia, it has changed tremendously. Women were always, because of the religion, were always in charge of their own wealth and their own investment. But recently, the regulations and the government and the, has encouraged very much women in employment, women participation in the workforce. And it all stemmed because we had very few women working. The unemployment for women was huge and high, which really brought up the average of youth unemployment in Saudi Arabia. So uh, the government, five, six years ago, encouraged the private sector. Prior to that, it was only the public sector that was employing women, encouraged the pri uh, private sector to uh, employ women. In our group, we were pioneers. We started hiring women 11 years ago. Now we have more than 4% of our workforce women. We have more than 300 women. And our goal is to reach 1,000 women by 2016. So yes, I am. Things have changed. I am very optimistic about women opportunities in Saudi Arabia in the future. Shukran Jazilan, Lubna Merci beaucoup, Baptiste. Thank you. Thank you very much.